Welcome back to What Arty Noobs with General Disturbance. This is an M53 M55, it's the Tier 9 American SPG, and we're located on the north spawn of Muravanka. And the name of the commander is Wewat. Now I can tell that that's an 18 inch howitzer, big, fat, short, <laughs> and so this makes Let's this go. an M55. And battle has started. Resplendent in the Gamescom 2018 colours. Don't think I got those myself, but uh, oh, well, a bit bright for me. But anyway, he's off to the uh, west side of the map to find his firing position. No, it's built on the chassis of the M46, the Patton tank, uh, with the rear of the, the tank at the front. And the turret is actually on the what would have been the front of the tank, uh, but it's at the back. And the driver sits in the front left hand side. Uh, we what's just positioning himself, he's got a target to fire at a T10, which is a Soviet tier 9, lining him up for shots. And he got a bit of reticle bloom there because he had to turn the vehicle slightly. And he's having to adjust his vehicle, which has bloomed his reticle again. Okay, lining up the shot. That looks about right. Round out. That was close. Well, it landed just in front of the T10, but it still did 408 hit points of damage. Unfortunately, there's only a scorpion between Wewop and those enemies. So uh, he's going to have to reposition already, otherwise uh, he's probably going to get in trouble if they punch through that scorpion. Most of his team appear to have gone down the uh, east side of the map through the magic forest. There's a whole load of targets he can fire at, one of which is a VK-101P, and he's lining up, and round out, direct hit, 296 hit points. Now he's got a 34.5, or is it 6, 7, six, seven seconds reload, so it's quite a long time. More than enough time for him to reposition the vehicle if he needs to. And in a sense, at the moment, he really does need to. That Centurion stuck him behind cover. He obviously knows there's an RT down this end of the map, and he doesn't want to get hit, so he's trying to get some cover. But it also may be the Scorpion that's stopping him. Right around the Centurion and creates a nice crater next to the house. We'll have to see if he actually did damage that Centurion later on. But he's got some more targets to fire at, a 112, an I-6. And they all appear to be engaging our mouse, which is just around the corner with a T26E5. Looks like we're going to go for the I-6 and the VK next. And that will definitely help our T26. Lining up the shot, going for the IS-6. Round out, direct hit! Perfect hit there. 311 hit points, stuns the IS-6 and helps our team. We've moved an adjusted position just slightly to avoid counter battery. The enemy's got an RT as well and it's also an M53, M55. Okay, we've almost completed the reload. Got the VK101P just slightly to one side. The problem is that that house is getting in the way of the shot. So it looks like we're going to go for the IS-6 again. Oh, no. We're holding fire because there's an AMX 1390 very nearby. And it looks like he's made a YOLO run right into our lines to try and kill Artie. Gone to the place where we'd normally expect them to be and they're not there. Fires around in and oh, gets a massive hit. 497 hit points on that 1390 and I think the scorpion's readjusting his uh, position so he can shoot at the 1390 if he comes into view. There's an IS-3 nearby as well and he's just fired at the scorpion. We're aiming at the IS-3 as well. Oh the IS-3 just took out our scorpion. Now where did that AMX 1390 go to? Well, more than likely he's coming to this way because he knows where he was hit from. Uh, so he'll know where Wewot is. But Wewot's loaded and ready to go. And all he needs to do is splash that 1390 to take him out of the game. Yes, there he is. He's turned again. 
he's coming this way. We what gets fire. ready, locks on. Fires the round in. Oh, he got the kill anyway. He was nearby. He was auto aimed on, but he lost the lock. But he fired anyway, and it was perfect because it was right on target. Now I'm sure that AMX 1390 reported his position. So he's changing position altogether, moving where the 1390 was. There he is. Uh, so that if the enemy does fire at where he was, oh no, they found him. One of the enemies saw him, and I'm not sure if it's either that T26 or one of the other enemies nearby. In fact, I think there's some closer enemies. Maybe the Ag Tiger, maybe the Centurion. Actually, it was a VK 101P who was close by. We're lining up on him, and we should get a kill. Yes, we do. 82 hit points, that's two kills. Now he's got to reload. Now they've got a two tank advantage at the moment. They control the enemy camp area if they wanted to, but nobody's actually gone in there yet. The IS-6 has disappeared from sight, but there's nobody spotting in that particular area. We've got a Carnarvon AX uh, Action 10 just at the uh, end, just around that house. There he is. I need 36 hit points though, so he doesn't want to expose himself to the IS-6 just in case he gets shot and killed very, very promptly. But the enemy is hemorrhaging tanks. You can see here they're getting hit and taken out the game, even though our, the rest of our team has very few hit points left. Okay, there's a Yag Tiger. He's side on to us, and I think we're going to give up paddling. Yep, right into his side. 445 hit points of damage. And he's been stunned, and he's been taken out of the game. Killed by our M46 pattern. Ready to fire. Okay, IS-6, we've locked on. But we've still got to wait for the reload to complete. It's still 70 Time seconds to go. And we lost lock on the IS-6. Tried to reacquire the auto-aim. We've gone to battle assistant. And switch back to overhead view. Oh, we just took a round from the ALC, ELC even 90. And although we fired in and took out the IS-6, now that even 90, he's probably in reload. We we took two rounds from him with APCR as well. I don't know why, but maybe he was just loaded with APCR at the time. It's a very bad choice to fire APCR because, of course, it's not going to give you any advantage against an arty. Even a standard HE shell would penetrate Arty. Fires at the M90 and wings him. 375 hit points. The Wizzy 132 is going in for the kill. And we're reloading, and I think the Wizzy's almost got him. Oh, yes, he got him. In fact, I think he sideswiped him to kill him, and that's the last kill of the game, so they won. And he's desperately trying to platoon with the Wizzy 132. I'm not sure if he managed to in time. No, he didn't, unfortunately. But he did get a second class tanker in the M53, M55, a Bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 10. A Starks medal for uh, surviving the battle, having received at least two hits from the enemy, losing two thirds of your hit points and getting at least two kills. And they're difficult to get. I know I've got quite a few of them, but they are difficult to get. And a win eight for the battle of 3956. So let's have a look at team score. Well, he got the second highest damage on his team. A highest damage went to the Scorpion G. He managed 3,509 hit points. And that's why the enemy were reluctant to move up the west side of the map, because he was hammering them really hard every shot. He also, uh, we want managed to get 3,112 uh, hit points and the object 430 on the enemy team managed 3,053. When it came to kills, it was the Wizzy 132. He managed to get four kills. Then came we want with three. And then there's a whole bunch of tanks who managed to get two kills apiece. And when it came to base XP, it was also the Scorpion G who managed to get 1,058 base experience points. Then we what with 911. And then we've got the Bat Chat 25 ton with 889. 
If we look at detail, he fired 10 rounds during that battle. He got 6 direct hits, 6 penetrations, 7 splash, damage of 3,112 hit points, of which 2,523 were at more than 300 meters. He received 2 hits, both of them from the LC-790, and they were both penetrations. He also damaged 7 of the enemy, killed 3 of them, and did damage assistance, or stun assistance I should say, of 1,056 hit points of 10 stuns. On a standard account, he earned 29,970 credits, and after repair and ammunition resupply, he made a deficit, a loss, of 1,571 credits. If he'd actually had a premium account, he would have made a profit of 13,414 credits. He received 5 bonds for the Starks medal, and he also picked up 911 base XP for the battle, and there was no multiplier, so that's all the experience points he took away. But it was the first win of the evening for Wee Wat, so he was quite happy with that. And obviously, as a member of Wat Arty Nibs, he decided to send it in to us. And here it is. So, uh, if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.